Now to the shakeup in the race for governor. Five Republican candidates now officially thrown off the ballot. That's half the field. And those candidates include James Craig, Perry Johnson, Donna Brandenburg, Michael Markey, and Mike Brown. Mara McDonald live downtown tonight. At least two of those candidates, Mara, are going to still try one more legal challenge here. Devin, that's right. And as one attorney explained it to me tonight, this is the legal equivalent of a Hail Mary pass. Let me show you. What everybody agrees on, there are thousands of fraudulent signatures across 10 campaigns gathered by the same paid signature gatherers. This was not a mistake. These circulators knew they were doing this. They did this deliberately. And staff is confident in saying that these signatures should not be counted. So many five of the GOP gubernatorial candidates, including former Chief James Craig and so-called quality guru Perry Johnson, are off the ballot after a split vote at the State Board of Canvassers. Both Craig and Johnson's campaigns are going to fight it out in court. Here's the reasoning. The Bureau had a large task before it, and it did a valiant effort. Unfortunately, they cannot do random sampling and they cannot do automatic disqualification. Arguing that each and every signature should have been vetted against the qualified voter file instead of disqualifying petitions submitted by petition gatherers who had obviously fake signatures. A judge will have to decide. But remember this piece of campaign 101. Anybody who's ever run a campaign before that requires signatures should have a vetting process and should know the companies. There are only a few of them that do this stuff. And, and so, yeah, it's really, really bad, you know, malpractice by the campaign managers. Back here live, what Dennis is saying is that those campaigns get to see their signatures as they come in weekly, every other day, whatever the arrangement they have is, and that somebody on that campaign should be fly specking those signatures as they come in to make sure they look okay because you know Devin Kimberly problems with signatures or fraudulent signatures that's not new why would you end up paying a company for signatures that aren't valid we're live downtown tonight I'm Mara McDonald local four which is why it was interesting that the two Republican members of the board voted to overlook uh, these problems but nonetheless uh, the uh, investigation now into these signature gathers Mara has been turned over to the Attorney General Dana Nessel that's right it's now in the hands of the AG and Devin you know now the big question is okay what was the motivation was it something where Look, gathering signatures is not easy, okay? You're out in lousy weather all day, you're standing on your feet. Was this something that they, these people thought, well, this is an easy way to make my, you know, 20 bucks a signature and get it done? Or was there something more sinister at play here? Hmm. AG's gonna have to figure it out. Yeah, you got it, all right, Mara.